In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to rank content and actually how to write SEO optimized content for your website that actually ranks on Google. Uh, very quickly, if you guys can, can you please comment down below SEO content as that would greatly help the video. And let's get into the video. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to improve your actual content especially if you are ranking in, let's say, position number five and you want to try and jump up to one. Um, if you aren't like in the top 10 results, <clears throat> it can be due to the actual quality of the content, what subheadings you actually have um, on your website. So we're going to be basically talking about actual on-page SEO and, and actual doing content briefs um, in this video. Now, if you guys are struggling to rank or maybe you want to just hire a consultant or an agency to do it for you, make certain to check out casualdash.com. The link is in the description. Click on the big work with me button and fill in the contact form and I'll get back in touch with you. But let's um, take a look at some keywords that we can definitely improve our rankings for. So if I was to search, let's say, um, let's say we want to rank so for... Um, Let's do b -b 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 lawyers in New York for divorce, right? Divorce lawyers in New York. So there's a lot of different websites to obviously rank or try to rank for this keyword. But let's take a look at a website that is actually on, um, let's say, position number three. So if we go to these guys, right? So a few things that I would be actually looking for in this case is making certain that the keyword is actually within the H1. So this is the H1. I don't know why it's a little bit faded. I'm hoping you guys can actually see that. Um, but it says divorce attorney, New York City. Um, and then we would want to actually have like a fair bit of like content. We would actually want to include any FAQs as well. So in this case, they've only just got a little bit of content. They don't have crazy amounts of content um, on this website. So in that case, the content is definitely the issue. So how can we actually improve this content? So by looking at this content, um, <clears throat> we can actually have, for example, um, more subheadings um, expanding on divorce attorneys. We could have FAQs, so questions that people might have prior to actually um, hiring a divorce attorney. Um, you could also have related articles, uh, which these guys, they look like they have got related articles, um, but their content's just a bit weak. Um, so what I would be doing here is I would actually have um, a look at the positions one, two, and three for that keyword, right? So. Um, in this case, I'm just going to be using the article builder because I feel like it's going to do a fairly good job, right? So what I would be looking at is looking at the pages that rank based off of how good and quality their content is. So for example, this page here, right? This is an inner page. It's not a Forbes, for example. It's also not um, a citation like a Justia or a superlawyers.com. So these are all like directory style websites, right? What I would be looking at here is looking at websites that actually have got good quality content. So that website probably has, it's got good FAQs. These are some good FAQs to actually include within our content. So I'll keep that for now, but I'm trying to find two websites that actually rank really well based off of the actual content that they actually have on their website. Um, and in some cases, it might not be positions uh, or in, on page one. You might need to go to page two um, to find some of those websites. So, for example, if we take a look at these guys, right? Um, basically, what I'm looking for is content depth. Now, these guys, they've got a really good article here on their hands, um, but they might be lacking in other aspects of their actual SEO strategy. But this article really good article to do with um, divorce attorneys. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the subheading grabber and I'm just gonna paste in that article here, right? And this is basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna go to that page. Um, I'll just, it's gonna go to that page and it's gonna grab all of the individual subheadings of that page. So if I actually um, copy like, for example, this <coughs> and 
if I paste that in here, as you can see, what is divorce or meditate? Uh, what is divorce mediation in New York? Right, so that's an actual subheading that they actually have on the page. It's an LSI, it's to do with divorce attorneys. So it's an important subheading to actually have on our page. Now, again, if we go back to the example that I was showing you guys before, right, which was, do, 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 I think it was on page number four. Um, where was the website that we were looking at? <clears throat> this here, right? So this was the page that we were looking at initially, right? So this website only has one subheading, which is New York City Divorce Attorneys. Um, this website that we've just pasted actually has probably around 20 subheadings on the page. So their content's really good. So now what we want to do is find another website that ranks fairly well for um, Divorce Attorney, which has got good content. So again if we take a look at these guys for example we're looking at content depth we're looking at how long the actual article is we're looking at how in-depth they've went now this article is okay um it's probably got two free or it's got three block sections but again we're trying to find an article that's ranking or it's got good content again these guys they've got fairly decent article here so i'll just copy that and again i'll go back to the article builder and we will paste that in to the actual sheet. And again, we've got a fair amount of actual articles or subheadings on the actual page. Um, and then this prompt actually has, or this sheet actually has a prompt built in. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to copy this entire um, sheet over onto ChatGBT. And I'm just going to paste that in. Oh, Control C. And if we do paste and then hit enter. Now, basically, what this is going to do is it's going to write us our content brief. So, when it comes to actually writing our article or, or re optimizing our article, we're actually going to get a lot more subheadings. Bearing in mind, this only had one subheading on the actual page. As you can see, this is already a way more in depth article. Um, we've got like common, uh, commonly asked questions about divorce in New York. Um, we've got financial aspects of a divorce in New York, so on and so forth. So then what I'm just going to do is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this in to the article builder section here. I'm just going to paste that in and then sources, we can also add in a source as well. So we could do divorce and if we actually copy the Wikipedia page into our article builder here. The reason why we're doing the actual source is because AI has a typical, um, or it frequently actually um, starts hallucinating. So if we actually feed it the source, it's gonna come back with a lot better content. Tonality can be informative, and we want the article to be informative. What do we want from the actual action? We could say, um, request a free con uh, consultation. Actually, do you know what? For this, I'm going to say it's going to be a service-based article. And then the title of this article could be um, New York Divorce Attorney. So that is the actual article. And then again, if we just copy that in to ChatGBT, and if we just paste that in, this is going to go ahead and actually build out the content for this website. Now, a few things um, about this is the actual um, article is going to actually be fully written for us. It's going to be SEO optimized. It's going to be way longer and more, way more in-depth um, as opposed to this. What I'll also do as well is I'll show you guys the actual SEO score of this article. So I'm just going to run the actual content through this SEO tool and it's going to give us an actual SEO score. So this is the content that we've got on that actual page. And if we just paste that into here, um, as you can see, it's got an overall SEO score of 3%. The average for this keyword is 36%. Now, if we copy the actual content from this, so if we just copy all of this, and we'll paste that into the exact same um, tool. And oh, 
looks like I messed up there. There we go. Paste that in. As you can see, we've got an uh, SEO score of 47. It could definitely be improved. Um, the average SEO score uh, is 36, so we are well above average. Um, but if you were to actually spend maybe 10, 15 minutes of actually writing the actual content, um, or maybe even adding in a few additional keywords, you could definitely um, optimize this actual further. So as you can see, I've been able to improve the actual SEO score. What I did do <coughs> is I looked at frequently asked questions um, and I just added in a load more of actual frequently asked questions. Bear in mind, when you are trying to chase an SEO score, I don't always recommend this because in some cases it can, or the content can get very repetitive. Like if you look at how many times, for example, I've mentioned uncontested divorce, for example, can be a little bit more repetitive. So just bear that in mind. Don't always just chase for a 100% SEO score. Look at um, what subheadings your competitors have. Look at what the what's also in the people also search for. Um, because that will also give you a good indication of what you should also include um, within your content. Look at the people also ask as well. So how much does a divorce lawyer cost in New York? What is a wife entitled to in a divorce in New York? Do you need um, a separated, do you need to be separated before a divorce in New York? How long does a divorce take in New York? Having all of these questions can also improve your um, SEO score for that page. Now. The difficult part is, or the time consuming part to all of this is that you need to do this page by page. So if you've got, let's say 60 pages that you care about ranking when it comes to actually um, SEO ranking them, you're gonna need to do this 60 times. And it's a little bit of a manual process, but if you've got staff, for example, it, you can obviously speed this up. So that's what I would recommend. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you guys do want a strategy call with myself, make certain to check out casualdash.com. The um, link to this is actually down below. Also, the link to the article builder is also down below. If you guys do want, um, it's completely free. Once you do get access to this sheet, make certain to click on file and then make a copy so you're actually able to use this and actually edit. Um, the actual content, but that's been how to create SEO optimized content that actually ranks within Google. If you guys got any questions, feel free to drop it down below. And as always, please remember to leave a like and also subscribe.